everyone and welcome to Jeggy TV and today we have a really special treat for you which I'm going to let my friend Brett here explain. For the first time ever you are going to see the pilot episode for a sketch comedy series that we did uh, that I produced, directed and wrote called The Electron Tube. This has never been seen before. This is the first time this has ever actually been shown really on, on anywhere because we had a few episodes we did later on mm -hmm. as a web series after it got turned down by cable access television if you can believe that how of does all that places how i don't know that? man i mean because i've seen something from aurelia where they had some guy playing a hurdy-gurdy randomly and singing yeah. in the worst voice imaginable yeah i mean it, cable sense. access the whole idea is supposed to put anything on the air really mm -hmm. it's for the public if they can have a show like the great satan at large this was actually real Phoenix, yeah. Arizona guy did a show where he's basically Satan. <laughs> and it was on at like 6.30 in the evening during family hour. And this got on TV. <laughs> and the electron tube gets turned down. But it's okay. But we ended up doing it as a web series. Mm -hmm. And we never really went out of our way to promote it, mainly because we just kind of wanted it to exist. Mm -hmm. We did it for fun, essentially, yeah. but... And a few yeah. of the clips of some of the later episodes ended up in my my movie, The Brett Strong Story, and but this is you know this is a big thing because this is the first time ever anybody's going to get to see the pilot, the the episode that started it all. Mm -hmm. And there's a few music music videos in there. Uh, one of them was classic career video, which is also in the Brett Strong Story, and also sub miniature electron tube life factors <laughs> which is actually one of specifically one of the things that this executive <laughs> like brought up is like yeah. you were showing technical footage and like yeah i mean it's so it's a little bit weird a little bit different but i think there's some really funny stuff in there i think so too yeah it was actually you know turned out pretty well uh shot on dv tape so mm -hmm. it doesn't particularly look great compared to you know stuff we have now but yeah. uh but still it's it's you know a real treasure to you know people who you know like this kind of stuff and so you know this is a big deal mm -hmm. so for the first time ever you're going to see this this pilot episode so it's pretty exciting indeed so i figured without further ado we should uh, just send you on along to the pilot episode of the electron tube right here on jeggy tv I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Mick Jacobs Jr. I'm an inventor. Tonight you're going to see a new kind of program. Comedy, music, the news. Well, actually you have seen this kind of thing before, but this time it's different. I'm Brett Strong, host, producer, and hyphen of the Electron Tube. As we all know, television is a mess. The internet is a joke. No imagination, no creativity. Oh yeah, you say there's plenty of things to watch, but you are wrong, so wrong. We've got reality shows trying to find who's the best singer, who's the best this, who's the best that, nobody cares! There's even a reality show now for dogs. <laughs> for dogs! That's why tonight, we open the gates of hell. We throw the rules away, and we change it all! Name and number, Leone 510. 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 Name and number! Leone 6, 8, 37, 3, uh, I don't know.
these two men are putting their lives in grave danger. They are about to play Russian roulette with a banana. It's now time for everybody's favorite game show, Celebrity Dartboard. Who's our celebrity this week? It's Scarlett Johansson. Now contestants, get ready, set, throw! Join us next time for another edition of Celebrity Dartboard. Here is something for any babies who might be watching the show right now. Hey kids, I'm Meg Jagischan. Today, I'm going to teach you about electricity. Now what I'm trying to do here, is I'm trying to get this light emitting diode some power. But what we need is voltage. So, this is already plugged in as you can see, but this is not. So, let us plug this in. It appears it's not working. Perhaps this fuse might be the problem. Let's see here. I'll get this fool thing out of here. The fuse does appear to be all right. It does indeed appear to be intact. So, what I'll do is put it right back in. Whoa! I better unplug this because I almost got myself electrocuted and we can't have that. It would not be really bad. All right. I better take this. Now, let me try one more thing here. What I'll try is I'll plug this back in, and I'll plug this into here, and move this over here. Well, as you can see, I am very inept. I'm not sure exactly why this is working, or it's not working, rather, but I will leave you with this. You know when you're in, in school, and, you, and you, you take a piece of gum and you, you put it under a kid's chair. Don't do that. Because there was this one kid. And when some, you know, some fool kid decided to take a piece of gum and put it in his chair, he sat down on that piece of gum. And then he sat down and he hit just the right nerve with that piece of gum. After that, he was paralyzed for life. That's all I've got. You're watching the Electron Tube, the only program on TV that's microwave safe.
now time for the entertainment news. Let's get right to it. It's been reported that Lindsay Lohan has just signed on to star in a remake of the 1993 women's baseball movie, A League of Their Own. When asked why she took on the role, her publicist said, because Lindsay now officially plays for the other team. Speaking of Hollywood remakes, a major studio announced today that they plan to remake every single movie ever made. Ever. These movies include Casablanca, Weird Science, and current favorites like Iron Man and the Harry Potter series, just to name a few. Out of a trillion. In other movie news, the sequel to the box office smash The Dark Knight is already getting bloggers talking. With rumors of Philip Seymour Hoffman as the Penguin and Johnny Depp as the Riddler, it was reported that director Christopher Nolan has decided to go in a different direction. Now fans can expect to see the more obscure Batman villains Lola Lasagna and Aval Ekdal, the Albanian genius. Kathy Bates and Jonah Hill have signed on to star. Um, I mentioned Johnny Depp in that last story. The Electron Tube managed to get an exclusive interview with Depp on his current role as a pitchman for Imodium. Let's go to that interview. So how did you get involved with this project? Well, they called me up and asked if I'd like to do it, and I said, yes, that'd be great, and here I am. Did you base your performance on anybody? Like, how you base Jack Sparrow on Keith Richards? Well, a lot of actors do these kinds of jobs, so they wanted me, my voice, my likeness, to appear in their commercials. But I, I did do one take where I did a character based on uh, Hulk Hogan and an Australian sheepdog. It was different. Thought I'd try it. When can we expect to see these commercials? Oh, I don't know. See, I wouldn't know because you know, I can't watch myself. I, I get physically ill. I, I want to vomit when I see myself on screen. Thank you for bringing us that interview. On to some music news now. After the poor sales of her country album, Jessica Simpson announced that on her next CD, she plans to go metal. She said she'll be taking on a Joan Jett meets Olivia Newton-John at the end of Grease look and headbanging her way onto the charts. So look for Jessica Simpson's Welcome to My Daydream when it drops sometime next year. Finally tonight, pop singer Miley Cyrus, better known as Hannah Montana, has been caught up in another photo scandal. And apparently this one is even more controversial than the first. When reached for comment, her management said, We were all very distraught and disturbed that somebody would let this happen yet again. Well, the electron tube managed to obtain the photograph, and we warn you that you may never look at Miley Cyrus the same way again. Wait. It looks like the photographer didn't take the lens cap off the camera. What an idiot! <laughs> well, I guess Miley, her management, and all of her fans can breathe easy on this one. This has been your entertainment news. Now watch this. interview I did with Hollywood actor Harrison Ford. Harrison, this is such an honor. I'm a big fan of your work. Um, before we get started, is there anything I can get you? Beer. Beer? You know, I was kind of hoping you could do this interview straight. Do you think you could do that? Alright, we're understood. Uh, now, before the interview, I saw you combing your hair with a toilet brush. What's up with that? It wasn't the obvious choice. Yeah, I can see. Uh, let's get on with the interview. Uh, for you, how would you describe a big bowl of chili? 
It's good food. What emotion do you feel after you've been picking your nose all day and you finally strike gold? Great, great joy. What's your favorite word for a woman? Broad. How much do you love Count Chocula cereal? Oh, man. A lot. Oh, here's a trivia question for you. Batman's belt is... Uh, a utility. That is correct. Oh, here's something I wanted to ask you. It's bothered me for a long time, but I, I recently rewatched Air Force One. And since you're here, I'll ask you, was your character in that movie supposed to be the president or some sort of secret agent? I thought you were supposed to think it was a grocery delivery boy. Oh. My mistake. Uh, say, when you're at a party, who is your least favorite person hanging around the punch bowl? Somebody that was... that put something into it. We all hate that guy. Well, Harrison, this has been a fun interview, but unfortunately we're out of time. But I just have to ask again, is there anything I can get you? Nice glass of wine. You're watching the Electron Tube, the only program on TV that's a shampoo and conditioner. Well, hello. I'm Paul Pauls, and I've got a joke for you. Now, you can use this joke at your parties when you're entertaining. Okay, great. Here goes. Why was the computer so tired when it got home from the office? Because it had a hard drive. <laughs> Joe Barn and I'm Glenn Copy and this is Barn and Copy now on this program we look at all the current developments in cottage life our guest today is Don Peepy a local real estate developer hello there we have some breaking news at this time the refills for the plug-in air fresheners are impossible to open <sighs> oh man see I can't even do it we see, I'm usually pretty good at this. Oh, it's like trying to open a jar of olives. We go now to one of our crew members who will also attempt to open this godforsaken thing. Gary? Oh, man, it's really on there. Oh, who the heck designed this thing? Oh. This, my friend, is a lost cause. Thank you, Gary, for trying. Uh, if you were just joining us, the story making headlines at this moment, the refills for the plug-in air fresheners are impossible to open. I mean, we've been struggling in the studio all day, and, and that's not a good thing because it reeks in here. I mean, it literally smells like the carcass of a dead giraffe. I mean, it's just, I mean, I just don't understand why they make it like this, so you can't... Hulk just wants to smash! I just, it's just... Uh, we'll bring you any further developments as they become available, if we're ever able to open this thing. But in the meantime, we return you to the Electron Tube. Well, that was the show. Good night.
country we've never before seen. Never before seen, except by us, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, by us. And the guy who turned it down. Mm -hmm. that son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, there was a few things we had to mention. That you, you look totally different. Yeah, I know. I we forgot. I forgot how much. Like, it took us. did you see how much hair I you had? Had a lot of hair. And my beard was perfect. Yeah. Man, getting memories. I liked my hair. Neil. Well, I mean, it was still it was still dying then, but you know. Yeah. You just, what can you do? Yeah, we can't really. Uh, I look pretty much the same. Just yeah. goatee's a little different, but you know. Yeah, I, please, you know, I was 25 then, and I'm still 25 now, so. <laughs> hey! Yeah, and uh, just some interesting stuff on there. Like, really, man, I forgot. I mean, actually, the, the one thing that was, you know, this kind of shitty when you watch it now was the original the interview segment, which we've done, I, uh, I've done on the uh, specials at Bramos and Hot Dogs and on uh, Attack of the 50 with Mustache, which was... You know, based on a weird Al bit where he would take, you know, the interview and just put in his own stupid questions. And, yeah, that one, that was before, like, this, again, DV tape it was recorded on. And before any really good, you know, digital or, like, editing software was was around, really. Yeah, and I think portable he, and... Yeah, I think he used Windows Movie Maker for movie that. Movie Maker, yeah, because that was the cheapest and the easiest thing. Because, you know, this is the first time I ever really tried to do anything like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not, you know best tools of the trade at my disposal. That was back in 2008, 2008, right? yeah. And, Long you know, ass I mean, time ago. Yeah, but see, but a lot of like H, like really good HD cameras weren't even really available. Exactly. Quite yet. High def was, I think it was sort of a newish thing around then, so you know. Yeah, and so, and so it was DV camera, and then, so that, that interview didn't turn out quite as well because I was off of VHS tape, mm -hmm. recorded, and it's like recorded it off the TV uh, through the camera, and so that was that was just the easiest way to do it. Indeed. So it didn't look great, but you know, serves its purpose. And there's some really funny jokes in there. And I that, think the so whole too. series and the whole episode in general, mm -hmm. and the whole series actually had some really funny stuff in it. I think so too. And um, if you haven't already, check down in the crotch bar there. I have a description and links to the playlist for all of the other episodes of the web series for the Electron Tube. Yeah. Right there for you. So, you know, that should be good. And you can also go to Machino Music Films and watch some of my other stuff. Indeed. And there's supposed to be, uh, should be a new special coming up soon. I can't say exactly when, because I'm not quite sure yet. Still a few things I'm writing and trying to figure out. So, right. But that should be soon. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I hope you all liked that pilot episode of the Electron Tube, because um, I know we sure did. It was fun yeah. to shoot. And the first time ever. This is such an exclusive. It was just like, this is, this is big. I mean, this is mm -hmm. never seen the light of day. And ne I never thought it would see the light of day, really. But um, it's kind of an honor to have that posted here on Jeggy TV yeah. for all of you to enjoy, if you did. I sure hope you did. But um, till next time, I hope you all have an awesome day. Now, how the hell did we get out of here? I don't even know how we got in here. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Now let's go look for a way out. Check it out.